Call it a blueprint for the cloud. Cloud architecture describes the way cloud infrastructure components are connected and configured in an enterprise environment. Think of it as a blueprint for a company's cloud environment, built with performance, scalability, and reliability in mind. Here, we'll go over the basics of cloud architecture and the main types of cloud models. For more information on cloud network architecture, please visit our dedicated networking site at the link above or in the description below. And remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. Looking at a cloud architecture blueprint, you will find cloud components. These include resources like bare metal servers, virtual machines, networking infrastructure, and storage volumes, services, including firewalls, load balancers, databases, monitoring tools, and identity and access management, and applications like monitoring and management tools, software development platforms, building and recommendation tools, and more. With all the interconnected elements, cloud architecture can be complex. The easiest way to visualize cloud architecture is to go through its various layers. The backend, or server side, is where almost all the resources and services are hosted, including servers, storage, virtualization frameworks, management and monitoring applications, and more. Frontend, or client side, is the user interface, or where users access and interact with the cloud provider's backend. This is often a simple web portal. Middleware translates front-end requests into back-end tasks and similarly translates back-end actions into front-end responses, typically with one or more APIs. And the network. This includes both the LAN and the WAN, and it's where the front-end accesses both the middleware and the back-end. In even simpler terms, front and back-ends are like buildings, middleware is a car shuffling between the two, and the network is the road. There are four common models of cloud architecture. Public cloud, Resources are owned by the provider and shared by multiple users. It offers scalability, global availability, and a pay-as-you-go cost structure. This is the most common model. Multi-cloud. This approach uses multiple public clouds. Some businesses prefer this approach for its flexibility and helps them avoid lock-in with a single provider, but it requires more expertise to manage. Private cloud. Resources are owned by the business, which gives them more control and security, but it generally costs more and isn't as easily scalable. Hybrid cloud. This combines public and private clouds. Some businesses prefer this for its security and flexibility. Users can keep sensitive data off the public cloud while still enjoying public cloud benefits. It's the job of the cloud architect to design and implement cloud architecture. They're responsible for the blueprints, as well as developing cloud adoption strategies, establishing the cloud architecture design, working with DevOps teams and other application development specialists, recommending cost optimizations, and specifying the systems needed to manage and monitor the cloud infrastructure and cloud-based applications. Sounds complex. What do you think? Rank your understanding of cloud architecture in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe too.